How you doing folks? Here in Newcastle West today in County Limerick. Look at that for a line up for tractors all the way out around the corner. We're here in Gary Brogan's, one of the Brogan brothers, um, Renault. Lovely massive Ferguson 165, another 165 over there. Massive selection of Landinis. Um, 2650 John Deere, anyone? Um, TS115. Let's turn the camera and give a look at them. There is some savage stuff here. Now, in case you didn't get it, it was a comment left in a couple of videos ago um, about me buying a tractor on my journeys throughout the garages, right? It was suggested that I set up a GoFundMe page. Um, I also said this in another video last week. But look, let me know how you feel about it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what I would love is that joke. If I could, it's a, a big Belarus. Well, she's not a Belarus, but she's, she's 160 horsepower. She's in Holland. But look, <laughs> that's a dream. We can work on that. All right, guys, these are the tractors. We're going to walk down the front of them. Nice Valtra English plates. DK68. Someone can tell me what year that is. One, two, three, four, five, six brand new Lendini tractors. A um, couple of Eiffel Williams boxes. Before we look at that, we're going to swing around here and give a look at what's here. Look at this. Master selection of Fleming Land Rollers. A um, couple of G A M B E R. I and I, whatever that is, fertilizer spreaders. Um, we have weights over here, actually, that reminds me. I must tell a fella we have weights. I'd say, what are they off of? They look like international weights. Um, weight carriers. That's a new Holland, I'd say. I don't really know, but there's a massive selection of weights there for anyone. Um, Fleming um yard scrapers anyone i'm looking for the h type yard scraper flaming transfer boxes buckets um b a t e s o and batten um cow boxes look at that run flat hose anyone a couple of attachments flaming power boxes a nice landini loader tying grabs um i'm all sure we'll give a look at that in a second um a malone post driver but look, let's start here. This is a nice Lendy, or not Lendy, a nice Valtra. I don't know what number she is, but she is, she's big enough, York. She's, she's actually big enough. I like, I like them Valtras. I like the front of them. I prefer the older type. Look at this for a weapon of a Landini. A Landini 7210 RS. Like, I love the black wheels. They are, a legend of a tractor. The only thing I don't like is the Ad Blue. We're here alongside the main Limerick Abbey Field Road, but they're a fine tractor. That is a fine looking tractor. Look at that, like she's even a darker colour. But like I love the black wheels. I drove a Lendini one time for a fella and I can't exactly remember the name. It was a Delta or a Dedra 6, something like that. And um, she was kind of automatic. This is going back about 20 years ago. I'd say she was kind of a prototype or whatever she was, but this yoke would pull, it would it would just stay going down through the gears and it would just pull and pull and pull. It was a savage tractor for power. I think some of the older ones were maybe a bit softer, but I think that, that ship has sailed. They're not soft anymore. They are a legend of a tractor. Like you look at this, Landini 6 135. Like that's a tidy tractor for 135 horsepower. Of course, Landini now, um, it's a good couple of years ago now at this stage, but Landini are after buying out McCormack. Um, um, C is it CNH? Uh, Fiat, anyway, whoever they are. They had to sell um, they had to sell McCormack for the competition authority to keep them happy. Oh, she's nice at Landini again. I don't know how model she is with a load already to go out the gap. Uh, Landini 5 slash 085. And... Um, what a nice little tractor again. Brand new tractor out the gap. Another Landini here. Um, slash 5 slash 20, 120. Again, brand new tractor. I actually love the black wheels. I know the, the inside of the wheels is silver. But the outside of the wheels is black. I like them. I don't like the Ad Blue. The Ad Blue, actually, for anyone that's interested in Ad Blue or thinking about buying a tractor this year, 2024, um, I saw it someplace on the internet that they. 
in America they're going doubling the amount of Ed Blue that's being used um, from kind of next year on. So if you want, uh, if you're considering buying a tractor this year and you're worried about the Ed Blue, um, I think this year would be a good year to buy it. What's the size of that beast below? She's a, what did I say she was? A 210? That's a fine looking tractor. Um, nice little semi explorer too. Um, again, semi in our Italian tractor. Of course, Landini are Italian. So, semi next door to them, up the road. A new Holland T6155. Again, Ed Blue, lads. It's all Ed Blue. That's a nice tractor. Tires in the front are by 25%. So ones in the back are about, uh, I suppose, they're 60%. And of course, John Deere. John Deere 61, 6100MC. What's the MC about? I know the M is the basic model. And I know the R is the top of the range model. But I don't think I've ever seen an MC before. Brand new tires in the front of it. Tires in the back are about 90%. So. Look at that. There's not a whole pile of wear on the back of it. She's an English import. She's... AY15, whatever that is. And we have a cutter um, tine harrow with a roller on the back of it and a cedar on the back of it. And we have a Merlot teleporter. A nice little teleporter. Actually, I know someone looking for a teleporter or else a nine ton dumper. Um, they're not too worried about the skip. They want something with a lot of clearance. It has to have a lot of clearance in the ground, even more than that. Um, if anyone knows of anything, leave a message in the comments. A nice little second-hand Landini here, 212 Limerick registered, uh, 6 slash 145. Front linkage, front PTO, nearly brand new tyres all round. Nice little tractor actually, they're, they're nice. Oh, she's front suspension the whole lot. These are a Nate tractor. Um, the Farmall International um, 55C, of course, Farmall last year were 100 years. Um, Farmall, the founder of Farmall was, much, uh, what was his name? He was McCormack, wasn't he? Um, I can't think of his first name. He was the, the founder of the Reaper and Binder. It was a Cyril Charles... Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus Baxter McCormack, Cyrus McCormack, Baxter was the fellow that came up with the knotter, but Cyrus McCormack was the fellow that came up with the idea of the reaper and binder, and his company also came up with the idea of the tractor that would farm all, it was a tractor that would farm everything, at that time there was tractors for uh, maybe tillage work, there was tractors for pulley work, but he came up with the farm all, a tractor that would farm everything. A nice little Massey, a 54.25 again. Not gone in the slopey bonnet tractors at all, never was. Um, but look, what is she? I don't know, she, she 100 horsepower? And she's a small little four cylinder yoke. Um, 05 Limerick registered again. Um, again, another second hand Landini. Um, a 6135H with a loader. She's 201 Limerick registered. Um, and of course, Thomason. Um, are Thomason Turkish? Am I right in saying that? Um, I think they are Turkish. They never really took off here in Ireland, even though there is a good few of them around. I think people bought them because they looked like, uh, some of them, not this, not this particular shape now, but some of them looked like the old um, Fiat. You know, the old Fiat, the 880s and that kind of stuff. And um, I think a lot of people bought them because they kind of looked like that and they were kind of happy enough with them to... For, to do whatever they were doing when they looked like that but um, look there's nothing wrong with them they're probably a bit cheaper than the Landini probably a lot cheaper than the, the Massey Ferguson and all that kind of stuff but look that tractor's there for you she's 201 Limerick registered um, Brogan Tractors Newcastle West you have it here and um, yeah just give them a call uh, we have a Zetter 6341 with a trimmer loader, self-leveling loader again. Good tyres all round. Um, what year is she? She is 07. Again, nice tidy little tractor. Okay, she's a few scratches and dins and marks in the front. Oh, she's not. She's all three. I thought she was 
07, she's 03. But look, nice tidy little tractor, four wheel drive. What more are you going to look for? That's a pure farmer's tractor. That's a tractor that, if you wanted it, that tractor's there for you. There's years left in that tractor. Um, it'll do exactly what you want it to do. Of course, McCormack. McCormack, no part of the Landini family below. Um, McCormack are, they're part of the Landini, that's it. I was looking at some of the newer McCormacks in the Lama show, but... Um, they are, they are, they're a serious looking tractor now. They're a lovely looking tractor. Here is Gary Brogan's details. If you want to press pause there for a second. That's it, MTX 150. Move on from that, we have a TS 115 New Holland. TS, this seems to be the, the, the that's the larger side of the tractors before they become the TMs. I think the TS-115 is probably the largest um, one you can get in the 115, or the, in the TS-115, sorry, start again. I think the 115 is the largest you can get in the TS, TS meaning tractor small, um, TM is tractor medium, and is there a TW, I can't remember, T, whatever it is, yeah, but it's something along those lines anyway. TS anyway is tractor small, there's a TM is tractor medium. And is that a big one? You can tell me. Um, 2650. This is a lovely tractor. Talking about a GoFundMe tractor now, but this is the. This would be a nice little tractor now. Look, it's there. No need to paint it. No need to do nothing. Don't like the cab. I prefer the the rounder, the, the bubble cab. But um, it's it's this is a completely genuine tractor. What year is it? Doesn't say. She. What year is she? She's 89, 89D. Again, nice little genuine tractor here for you. Renault 85. Um, again, Renault French tractor. Uh, became class. As some say, don't know a whole pile about them. I think I drove one or two Renaults ever. Um, they, they are what they are. They're a nice little tractor again. Um, like I said, don't know a whole pile about them, only I think some of them have, is it the MWM engine? And people are telling me this MWM engine is absolutely more or less bulletproof. And of course we have the very reliable, the 168. Um, there's another one over there in the yard we look at that in a second. These like, uh, the 100 series Massey, like were they, the, were they one of the best tractors ever built? Like how many of them were produced? There's thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of them produced. And like this tractor, okay, it doesn't look the tidiest in the world, but it's probably still, is it still four, five, six grand? It probably is. It's probably made that when it was new. And of course with the 436, a fine cab in that tractor again. Um, good tires all around. That's a nice little tractor. Um, Okay, the windows are a bit green in it, lads, but look, what are you going to get? She's pick up pitch, linkage arms. This tractor would feed round bales for you all, all day long. Absolutely. And of course, the Ford, the 36, nice cabinet again. These are a nice little tractor. These are a, a nice little farmer's tractor. Do you know what? There's loads of room. Just, I'm standing inside in the back of the cab, and there's still oceans of room in it. Like, it's a nice little tractor. The only thing I don't like about them is. They've only one spool valve. I know the Massey is only one spool valve. And I think you can change something inside in it for putting on a log splitter. But that's only a small thing. Probably most of them. You know, the Renault has two. The Renault has four. The Renault actually has six spool valves. What has the John Deere got? The John Deere has three. That's the return. That's what I'm saying now. This is the return. These are power out. That's the return. Just goes straight down into the gearbox. You have to have that to drive the likes of a, a log splitter because you have the, the what I call it, you have the thing on constant pumping for constant power to your log splitter. Um, what else have we? 68 John Deere, 1995 Limerick registered. 68 John Deere. 68 John Deere, I gave three years driving a 68. It was 1997. 1997? No, 
1997 C, a 68 John Deere, belong to Michael Graney and Brandon. These were a sweet tractor. Um, I went from a 7810 to the 68, and before that, I had the 3050. Um, but these are a sweet tractor. The oh my god, the, yeah, you can imagine the speed difference from the 7810 to this. There was absolutely no comparison whatsoever. They're a beautiful, beautiful tractor. Um, another New Holland TS 115 again. She's a small bit rougher than the one over, but the, the price will probably tell you the difference. Uh, and we have the Landini 130. Um, again, Landini, like I said, I think this type were a small bit soft and even the ones before them. Uh, the other shape ones are more square or bonnet. But come here, they're a lovely tractor. They're a lovely, lovely, comfortable tractor. Um, I know I said in one of the other videos they were small but soft. I got slated for it. But look, they are what they are. Um, but Landini have come an awful, awful long way in the last, in the last, what do I call it, the last 15, 20, 25 years. They're a serious, a serious competitor now in the market. Couple of loaders here. You're looking for a Ross Moore. Is that a trimmer? I'm not too sure what that is. Couple more of them, couple of loader brackets. There's a plow. There's another Massey. Let's go look at that. Alright, we have a Terex PT 6000. I presume she's a 6 ton. Looking for a dumper, if you know of anyone. It has to be, I'd say, a 9 ton. I need desperate clearance. I need as high as I can go um, in in a dumper I need serious ground clearance I need more than what what that is um, 165 again same as the Oak Oval as these are a, an amazing tractor um, is she the older type do you know what I'm not too sure I know you, you can tell some fellas can tell straight away you can tell me the exhaust on the right and the exhaust on the left and fellas know straight away but she's she has the Perkins what is she she's the 212 engine um, again these are a lovely tractor like this this tractor to me you know this is this is my corner here like but to me this tractor is this is just a lovely tractor lot she's power steering she's the alternate she has a heater plug fitted she has the whole lot like nice little cab so this tractor is a very easy doable tractor for someone either looking for a vintage tractor or someone looking for a tractor for road runs or someone looking for a tractor just to tip away around the farm. This tractor, it's all there. Okay, there's a bit of rust here, but that's nothing. There's more rust to myself than there's in that. Um, tires are good in it. She's a, I think she, this could be an early, early model. Like I said, not a thousand percent too sure. But someone no doubt can tell me straight away what it is. Like, bar, fairly new battery in it. She's shown 3,200 hours. I guarantee you she'll start. I'm not going to start it. She's the... Oh, she was piped for a loader at some stage. Like, walking around the back of it there. Like, she's... Okay, she's a place for... She's a pickup pitch and all fitted. She's SIN. What's SIN? I think SIN could be Limerick. Look, she wired for lights. She was a mind attractor at some stage. Oh, she's another light plug there. What else have we? We have a selection of wheels over in the yard. Loading ramp, um, fertilizer spreader, wheels, a couple of second hand fertilizer spreaders here. Um, we're up in 17 minutes, lads. We got to move them, they're still only half the yard going through. Um, nice Amazon fertilizer spreader, don't know the make of that one. We have a hay bob inside in the back with another Rossmore loader. Um, we have an Abbey fertilizer spreader, a couple of small digger buckets. We have a couple of second-hand uh, mowers, another fertilizer spreader, more mowers, uh, more mini digger buckets inside. Look, if you're looking for something, why not just make the call? Look, oh, I might, I might inquire about them myself. <sighs> oh, shelving. One, two, three. Now you're talking. They might, they might be there when the video's there, but I, I'm looking for shelving at the moment for my garage. Actually, that's nice little shelving, actually. Yeah. Mightn't be there, lads. Sorry about that. Okay, come on. Of course, Gary Brogan in Newcastle West also has... He has a massive selection of cow boxes. There's both double axles. 
and there's triple axles. Um, big plant trailer, triple axle plant trailer. Um, nice little grain trailer below. Uh, triple K harrow, folding out harrow. Double axle car box, triple axle car boxes. Anyone in the market for a little um, M-A-S-T-E Master? Video Master, or this triple K, fold out 10, 13, 16 feet wide. Um, three ton weight stumper. She's six ton case digger. Agitators, like I said, cow boxes. Uh, rollers, you know, the roller you have to put on to the three point linkage or the roller you can jack her up and pull along the road I presume there's a big price difference nice little trailer actually nice trailer for you after your jeep brand new Eifer Willems uh, cow box she's a triaxle yeah very nice trailer are these what make is this oh P R O N uh, Prona, I think. Oh yeah, I was looking at these one night actually. Prona, uh, P R O N R Prona, whatever. I think they're uh, they're actually Polish, and uh, they do an amount of equipment. They do some serious equipment, and they're really starting to take hold here in Ireland. They're really, really starting to um, make inroads on the Irish market. Of course, the Irish market is the place where. They send all these stuff to be tested. Um, new Fleming uh, topper, a couple more Fleming um, yard scrapers, uh, lift loader, G2. Okay, we have, of course, the the unbeatable to me Malone log splitter uh, with the NC, brand new NC agitator with a couple of Fleming power boxes, the Lendini loader um, with the Malone uh, post driver. Um, we have one of these, I have a video of it working. The only thing I could say against it is the table is very small. So what I did, what we did, we got a bigger sheet of steel, heavier steel, about the same thickness, and we made the table nearly twice the size. So when you split your bigger log, you can put the log out to one side. Um, brilliant. A little um, mulcher for mulching your... Um, your hedging, your equipment, your whatever, your whatever, your hedge cuttings, your tree, tree cuttings, a couple of digger buckets, a couple of uh, vacuum tank hoses, um, nice little trailer, nice little grain trailer for anyone, and all this stuff is here for you. Okay, guys, that's kind of it. What an absolute lineup of tractors! You have the Ford, you have the Massey. There's the Renault, there's the John Deere, there's the TS-115, the McCormack, the Zephyr, all of them down along. And of course the brand new lineup of Landini tractors here in front of us. If you are interested in seeing any of this stuff, Gary Brogan in Newcastle West has it all here for you. Um, there's a sign up in the gate, I'll put the sign right in the end of the video and uh, you'll get all his number, all his details. But you can see the stuff. The stuff is all clean. The stuff is all good. It's all in very, very good condition. The yard is clean. And um, Gary Brogan, part of the Brogan clan, we call him. They have a serious setup of stuff. Um, it's all here for you. Um, everything is here. Everything is clean. There's no, there's no, you know what I'm going to say, around the place. And uh, look, give Gary, give the team here a call. And again, thanks to Gary and thanks to the lads here for making me leave, make the video. The only thing, if you are coming to them, they do close from one to two every day. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to go over actually and I'm going to read the, the sign at the gate. Monday to Friday, nine to uh, six o'clock. Saturday, nine to one. Lunch from one to two. That's it, 0697894. Gary Brogan Tractors. .ie. Newcastle West is also on done deal. Alright guys, cheers. Thanks very much. Bye now. Good things.